Hello my dear, this is uh, Ujjwal Kumar Singh. In this tutorial, I am going to share with you how to solve question related to cantilever beam and uh, how to draw SFD and uh, BMD for cantilever beam when we are having uniform varying load that is U, V and L. For this case, how we can draw shear force and bending moment diagram in this question I am going to show you. So here let's, let's first read the question. Here we have question a cantilever beam of length 6 meter long and uh, carries a gradually varying load. So first of all let me draw a cantilever beam. Uh, this is a cantilever beam and the length of this beam is 6 meter. Well now here gradually varying load 4 meter 4 kilo newton per meter at the fixed end so this is gradually varying load and at the end here we have 4 kilo newton per meter load now let me share with you how you can draw sfd and bmd in the last tutorials i have shared with you that uh, drawing a uh, shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for cantilever beam is really easy if you know the basic of shear force and bending moment diagram so first of all we'll draw shear force diagram then we'll draw bending moment diagram first we'll draw shear force diagram then we'll draw bending moment diagram well so let me find out how much load is acting on this beam. Suppose this is a cantilever beam and its name is AB. This side is fixed. On the left hand side it is fixed and right hand side it is free. So total load acting on this AB beam would be how much base into height 6 into 4 into this is a rectangle A uh, sorry this is a triangle ABC and the area of the triangle abc would be how much base into height into half is equal to 6 into 2 is equal to 12 kilo newton so total load acting on this beam is 12 kilo newton so this is the basic concept now we have to draw shear force diagram totally is would, this would be like this this would be like this and this is parabolic remember this whenever we are drawing uvl uniform varying load for cantilever beam or any other beam then we have to draw like this this is a parabolic line and this is the total shear force diagram if you want to this is positive because this is above this uh, reference line and if the uh, if the shear force diagram is parabolic then we need to do one thing or we need to remember one thing that is how we are going to draw the bending moment diagram if a shear force diagram is parabolic then bending moment diagram was, would be cubic curve the bending moment diagram would be cubic curve so let me show you how you can draw this cubic curve so this would be like this little cubic and how much the value of here i mean how much value of this height i mean here a let me uh, give another name c to d how much how much height of this c to d so the value of here for bending moment diagram uh, for bending moment that uh, its unit is kilo newton meter how much it would be it's there is a formula for cantilever bending moment diagram w l square upon 6 this is minus because this will act on negative side i mean uh, on uh, negative side or you can say if you are taking this positive and this will go down side that's why we are taking bending moment diagram as negative so that is one other thing okay now let's come to this point w is here 4 l is 6 upon 6 the uh, 6 square and 6 6 is equal to 24 so this would be 24 and its unit would be kilo newton per meter i mean kilo newton not per meter it's kilo newton meter because bending moment having uh, i mean any movement having 
you need newton meter because movement is equal to force into distance so this is how you can draw shear force and bending moment diagram in case of uniformly varying load or gradually varying load i hope you got it how to draw shear force and bending moment diagram for cantilever beam uh, if you got any question related to shear force and bending moment diagram let me know and uh, i will try to solve that question and uh, upload my video uh, upload the video to my youtube channel thanks for watching hope to see you again in my next video bye bye